Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to work with database in your iOS application. So I have set up a basic application over here, it's for now doing nothing much, just uh, it has two text fill, few buttons, and when you click each button it's gonna print corresponding names, create, update, delete. So when you run it, you see something like this. Let's open up the console and we'll print this stuff. So view controller, you probably can guess it's nothing much to text build, bound it, and the buttons are binded over here. Now to work with the database, I'm gonna use uh, Realm. So let's initialize with the pod. Base iOS 9, and I'm going to use one pod, which is pod realm Swift. Let's do pod install. First, we're going to set up the model. Let's import from Swift. It's building now, so let's wait for a few seconds. Okay, building complete. Now, create the model class. So the class name is person. It's going to extend the object from Realm Swift. Now your preferred fields. For now, I'm just going to keep ID and name. I'm going to do dynamic per ID of type 64. And the name. Select this nothing, and you want to override the primary key method over here. So, the overridden method is primary key. saying that this ID is going to be a, the primary key of this table. So, class is done. Next, we're going to write a simple helper uh, method that's going to get the current time for from the device, which is this current time. Now to create, you need to get the database instance and then you want to do the realm uh, save. So let's first uh, create the person object. Save 
all I need to do is not a very uh, good way of writing you should use do and catch uh, for this try methods but for simplicity I'm not doing it uh, in this case so you should do it when you are doing your application writing your application That's it, that's all the code you need for saving an object into a database. So let's run this and see what happens. So the application is running. Now let's hit the create. It's not going to show much because. Uh, we're not printing the data from the database, so let's print that and see if our uh, data is printed, sorry, added in the database or not. So for that, we have to use the object method, uh, well, object method. So let's do that. Person list now to print it. Let's uh, do for each loop. Let's print the person. Okay, person list person. Let's run this. enough when you write click on the list it's gonna print all the person name in this case we have added only one so this one is over here so if we add another one hit list we should get two and we get do get two person now to update a person I'm gonna use the same add method same process like this. So just gonna copy it, paste it over here. So in your ID field, let's grab an ID from here. Maybe this one. Let's do the update and get 
the list here on you see the updated information now if you uh, want to get the list with some you know, filters you can do that for example you can add the filters over here uh, using the filter predicate and here you're gonna add what you want to get for example the person name ID maybe so let's see if we give the ID uh, to to whatever ID you want so let's see for example we want this one person for now since ID is a primary key and we're filtering by ID so we should get only one has the same ID. So you can map uh, I think I think yeah you can map them sorry transform normal lambda stuff you can do over here. Uh, so if you wanna finally if you wanna delete uh, then you want to do is getting the person get the person and simply call the delete. Let's get the person over here. So this is our person. So let's create this person first, like before. So I'm gonna copy the code from the create, actually the whole thing. And I'm gonna go to the delete block. read on the application. Let's get the list first. Get the console, get the list. One, two, three, four, five. And now we delete. Let's clear out the console. And if we hit list again, we should get four. And we do get four. So yeah, that's how you work with the database, a simple crude application over here. Uh, that's it. If you have any question about this, feel free to ask in the comments below. Uh, otherwise, that's it for now. Bye-bye.